Hello everybody, Scoopfish here. Welcome back to the Pokevlog. Welcome to the Equinox event. Uh, not sure exactly how I'm covering this. I was gonna do a montage -y type thing of over the event, but I've been dragged into doing video a little bit sooner than I was expecting to. Uh, needing to put a video out a little bit sooner than I was expecting to. So as you guys saw at the beginning, I actually ended up evolving a Eevee to an Umbreon using the nighttime trick of walking it 10 kilometers and then evolving it night or day to get Umbreon or Espeon. And the reason that I wanted to get an Umbreon is for Mewtwo. So that means I've got something to talk to you guys about. But before we do that, let's go ahead and spin this. Uh oh, spinny ball. There we go. Okay. Oh, looks like we can throw in too. We might as well. Who do we want to throw in? What's in there now? Miltank and Lapras. So we're going a little bit rarer. All right. You know what? I know exactly who I want to throw in. Not as rare anymore as it used to be, but... Come on now. Boom. I've been having a little more fun with the gyms lately. I mean, what else are you going to do, you know? All right, so I am at one of my favorite gyms, the People's Gym, and I am gold in this gym, so today is my seven day, and i tell you what, I need this, because who have I been losing out on Pokeballs with this Stardust going on, you guys? Oh yeah. Damn! You guys see that? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so many items. That was so awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure if I've actually gotten a Gold Gym 7 day on the channel yet. So there you go. Ton of items. And I don't know if I have space. I'm probably going to have to clear some room. Because in the shop right now, they have the Super Incubators. And I'm going to buy this box up. You guys see they've got different tiers going on. That's the Ultra Box, the better one. Here's the mid-tier box, the great box. And then just a special box because, you know, it is special. That's the only way you can get these incubators is by buying the boxes up. So let me check my items real quick. Oh, I'm actually not over. I know that the Ultra Box is going to push me over, though, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, you know what? Wait a sec, wait a sec. I got some Pokemon to heal up. So, I will get back to you guys in a sec with that purchase and the next bit of news I have to tell you guys about. So, yeah, tongue tied. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're over at the Imagination Station. And I'm going to head, go ahead and buy up those eggs. Man, I keep getting tongue-tied today. Well, and it's not in items to do that. And I'm not just buying up eggs. Sorry, incubators. Feeling rusty. All right, boom, there we go. And those extra lucky eggs are gonna help because that's gonna even amplify the experience more when it comes to cotton. I just can't talk right today. It's going to increase the experience you're getting from those Pokedex entries that are going to be tripled up. So let's go ahead and get our incubators going. 10k for sure. This is the only egg I've gotten since the event started. I gotta say, that looks pretty. I really like the way that they look. I don't know, that's cool. Ugh. And now the wind's picking up. Get a little bit closer for you guys. So, you guys see I'm at the Imagination Station. It's actually pretty fitting because the news that I have to tell you guys. X-ray passes have gone live publicly for everyone because we've got it now 
and the imagination station is where it's going to be so i just got my x-rayed pass invitation it was yesterday which is tuesday this week and then it's for saturday the 30th which is going to be the end of this week obviously saturday but but um that that means that they've extended the time range in which you can have rated like everyone in town seems to have gotten it and I can't really tell you exactly what time frame you're supposed to have raided from it almost seems like it's more to do with raid activity altogether than it is to do with how recently you've done it necessarily so we're gonna have to figure that out still but it's very very different how they're doing it there's more time in between and considering how many people got it and the last times that they had raided the, over here because I talked to a lot of people about it it's kind of weird it's different so they've definitely tweaked some things but yeah you guys have that to look forward to on Saturday right now what you have to look forward to after I I guess catch this ratata because I was gonna spin the gym is me walking them eggs and I'm gonna just give you guys some phone footage because it's windy out today I forgot my windscreen in the street is really active so it's just gonna be loud as crap but there's a raid about to pop here in a little bit so I'm just gonna walk until that raid happens and see you guys then
All right, guys. So easy Tyranitar win right there. You know that's what the crew does. So we didn't end up getting the uh, eggs hatched. Obviously, we ended up getting 2.8 kilometers out of those eggs. But we're gonna be getting those hatched soon, and then getting on to the new special two-kilometer eggs. And hopefully, I'll be doing another video that's not a montage of the event before that, and you guys will see it there. But that's gonna have to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And if you want to support the channel, make sure to check out the links down below. I've got my channel links down there for Patreon, for Teespring, for all the stuff you can follow me on. You guys go ahead and check those out. Till then, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Peace.